Section one of Santa's Sampler. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Read by Betty B. Santa's Sampler, a collection of over 100 hors d'oeuvre recipes by Kappa Alpha Theta, St. Louis Alumni Chapter. Hot Dips and Spreads. Carol's Dip. One can Rotel tomatoes, well drained one pound Velveeta. Heat together and serve with Doritos. Hasty Hots. Four green onions, chopped fine, one half cup Parmesan cheese, six tablespoons mayonnaise. Toast rounds or sliced French rolls. Toast one side of bread rounds or roll slices. Combine rest of ingredients and spread mixture on untoasted side and put under broiler until just bubbly. Makes one and a half to two dozen canapes ripe olive susans one and one half cup shredded sharp cheddar cheese six slices bacon fried and cut in small pieces one cup chopped ripe olives one half cup thinly sliced green onions one half cup mayonnaise just enough to moisten and bind spread on toast and broil until bubbly or spread on thin bread place in 300 degree oven until bottom is toasted then broil until bubbly cheesy bean dip one small package velveeta one can armor chili with beans heat together and serve with taco chips alki crab fondue three eight ounce packages cream cheese softened one half cup mayonnaise one cup dry white wine two scant teaspoons prepared mustard two teaspoons powdered sugar one teaspoon onion juice one dash seasoning salt three cans crab cream everything except crab beat a while it will still look curdled then add crab heat in double boiler or freeze serve in fondue pot dip with one inch cubes of french bread serves twelve to fifteen tuna fondue one can tuna one large jar of cheese whiz one quarter cup butter one can diced chilies melt all ingredients in double boiler and transfer to a fondue pot serve with tiny pieces of french bread cut in cubes and toast if desired spicy beef dip one pound ground beef one half cup chopped onion one clove garlic minced one eight ounce canned tomato sauce one quarter cup ketchup one teaspoon oregano crushed one teaspoon sugar one eight ounce cream cheese softened one third cup parmesan cheese grated Cook beef, onion, and garlic till beef is brown. Stir in next four ingredients, cover, and simmer ten minutes. Remove from heat. Stir in cheeses until melted. Serve warm in chafing dish. Makes three cups. Rice's Chili Dip One pound Rice's Chili One pound Velveeta One bunch chopped green onions One four-ounce can chopped green chilies Melt together in double boiler and place in chafing dish serve with doritos broccoli dip cook and drain well one package broccoli heat with one can mushroom soup two tubes craft garlic cheese one four ounce can mushrooms one half cup minced onion one half package dry onion soup mix may day ahead and serve hot in chafing dish use fritos cauliflower or carrots to dip jim's dip one pound velveeta cheese one six ounce cup grated sharp cheddar cheese one can chopped green chilies one half can evaporated milk one tablespoon worcestershire sauce one half stick margarine or butter melt all ingredients in double boiler transfer to chafing dish serve with fritos and doritos hot cheese and crab dip one seven ounce can crab meat one ten ounce stick sharp cheddar cheese one eight ounce package sliced sharp cheddar cheese one quarter cup butter or margarine one half cup sauterne cut cheese in small pieces combine in a saucepan with the butter and sauterne stir over low heat till cheeses melt stir in the crab and heat through pour into chafing dish serve with triscuits or crust bread makes three cups jalapeno pie one seven ounce can jalapeno peppers one half pound sharp cheese coarsely grated four eggs salt and red pepper to taste drain and seed peppers cut into thin lengthwise slivers 
and line bottom and sides of a nine inch pie plate press grated cheese in plate over peppers beat eggs adding salt and red pepper pour over cheese bake at 350 degrees for 25 to 30 minutes after removing from oven slice into small wedges leave pie in plate and pass as finger food hot clam dip two large packages cream cheese two cans minced clams drained a little two tablespoons worcestershire sauce or to taste two teaspoons lemon juice or to taste five or six green onions chopped finely tops included parsley chopped finely red pepper to taste have cream cheese at room temperature combine all ingredients in double boiler and cook until cheese is melted this dip is served in a chafing dish with melba rounds or other crackers it is better if made ahead so the seasonings can blend cheese fondue one clove garlic large one six ounce emmenthaler cheese one six ounce gruyere one tablespoon potato flour or cornstarch one quarter teaspoon each salt and white pepper one eighth teaspoon nutmeg one cup good quality light dry white wine two tablespoons kirsch or brandy rub bottom and sides of heavy earthenware casserole fondue pot or chafing dish with cut garlic toss cheeses with potato flour or cornstarch and seasoning pour wine into pot and heat until bubbles start to rise to the surface do not boil with wooden fork or spoon stir constantly until cheese is melted adjust seasonings and add kirsch or brandy serve with chunks of sourdough bread italian bread or other crusty bread cubes of ham cooked chicken shrimp or crab legs raw vegetables such as carrots zucchini or celery sticks chicken cheese fondue one six ounce emmenthaler cheese one six ounce gruyere cheese one tablespoon potato flour or cornstarch one can condensed cream of chicken soup one teaspoon pressed garlic two teaspoons curry powder one half teaspoon powdered ginger one quarter teaspoon white pepper one half cup sour cream toss cheese with flour or cornstarch heat soup garlic and seasonings and stir to blend well add cheese a handful at a time when cheeses are melted blend in sour cream adjust seasonings reduce heat serve with crackers or chips crab melba four tablespoons butter one third cup flour two cups half and half two tablespoons tomato paste or ketchup one half cup grated sharp cheddar or gruyere cheese one and one half teaspoons paprika one half teaspoon garlic powder one eighth teaspoon cayenne pepper one tablespoon lemon juice one quarter pound mushrooms finely minced one quarter cup finely minced green onions and tops two tablespoons butter twelve ounces each flaked crab lobster or shrimp three tablespoons minced pimento two tablespoons dry sherry melt butter until bubbly sprinkle with flour cook and stir three minutes gradually add half and half cook and stir until smooth and thickened add tomato paste cheese seasonings and lemon juice cook and stir to melt cheese saute mushrooms and onions in butter five minutes and add to cream sauce with fork stir in crab and lobster or shrimp and pimento reheat without boiling add sherry and adjust seasonings transfer to chafing dish serve with water crackers or melba rounds serves fifty hot chip beef dip one third cup chopped green pepper one quarter cup chopped green onion one jar dried beef cut fine one eight ounce cream cheese one cup sour cream one quarter cup chopped pecans mix all ingredients except pecans put in baking dish with nuts on top bake twenty minutes at three hundred fifty degrees serve hot with triscuit crackers cheese crab fondue one eight ounce cream cheese one eight ounce american processed sharp cheese one quarter teaspoon cayenne pepper one quarter teaspoon garlic salt one half teaspoon worcestershire sauce one half cup half and half one can king crab melt cheeses in top of double boiler and add remaining ingredients serve in fondue pot with assorted crackers cheddar chipped beef dip one quarter cup chopped onions one half cup milk one half cup grated cheddar cheese one jar chipped beef chopped 
one eight ounce package cream cheese one glass old english cheese one three ounce jar mushrooms two tablespoons parsley two tablespoons chopped pimento saute onions and one half tablespoon butter stir in milk add cheeses and stir until melted add remaining ingredients and serve hot with crackers or party rye end of section one Section 2 of Santa Sampler. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Read by Kirti. Santa Sampler, a collection of over a hundred outdoor recipes by Kappa Alpha Theta, St. Louis Alumni. Chapter Hot Tidbits. Mushroom appetizer 1 pound mushrooms, fresh 1 pound rice's mild pork sausage Clean mushrooms and remove stems Fill mushrooms with mixture Bake at 325 degrees for 25 minutes Stuffed mushrooms Wash, drain, remove and save stems from 24 medium sized mushrooms Combine and stuff mushrooms with a quarter cup finely chopped onions, half a cup grated parmesan cheese, one teaspoon salt, half a teaspoon pepper, half a teaspoon paprika, one teaspoon olive oil, all finely chopped mushroom stems. Place stuffed mushrooms in baking pan with two tablespoons olive oil. Bake 15 minutes at 350 degrees or 375 degrees may be served on buttered toast rounds or with cocktail picks. Crab stuffed mushrooms 3 dozen whole large mushrooms 2 7.5 ounce canned scrab drained 1 tablespoon parsley 1 teaspoon capers a quarter teaspoon dry mustard half a cup mayonnaise Combine all ingredients and place in mushroom caps that have been cleaned, drained and stems removed. Bake at 350 degrees for 8 minutes. Cheese crisps 2 cups grated sharp cheddar cheese 2 sticks softened butter 2 cups flour 2 cups rice krispies Cream butter mix with cheese until blended. Add flour, mix well and add cereal. Shape into balls and place on ungreased cookie sheet. Flatten with fork. Bake for 10 minutes at 375 degrees. Sprinkle with salt while hot. Cheese squares. One and a half loaf pepperidge farm thin sliced bread. Two jars Kraft Old English cheese spread. Three fourth teaspoon dill weed. Three fourth teaspoon Worcestershire sauce. Half teaspoon Tabasco, half a teaspoon onion powder, half a teaspoon Beaumont seasoning, one dash cayenne pepper, one stick butter softened, cut off crusts of 27 slices, cream ingredients until smooth. Spread three slices with mixture, stack the three slices, then spread the mixture on sides. Cut into nine squares. Repeat procedure with other slices. Bake at 350 degrees for 15 to 20 minutes. Can be frozen and baked as needed. Bacon Roll-Ups 1 loaf cracked wheat or whole wheat bread 1 8 ounce package cream cheese 1 pound bacon Cut crusts off 3 slices of bread Spread bread slices with softened cream cheese. Roll bread slice and cut into three pieces. Roll each piece in one third or half a strip of bacon. Toothpick together. Bake at least 25 minutes at 350 degrees. Can freeze baked or unbaked. If baked, thaw and reheat before serving. Hot pork and bacon appetizer. 1 pound ground pork, half a cup shredded cheddar cheese, a quarter cup fine corn flake crumbs, 
a quarter cup chopped onion, a quarter cup stuffed olives, a quarter cup chopped water chestnuts, one egg, one teaspoon salt, a quarter teaspoon pepper, eight to twelve slices of bacon. Combine everything but bacon. Shape into about 40 to 50 small rolls about one and a half inch long or fewer rolls of two and a half inch long. Cut bacon slices in halves or thirds. Wrap each pork roll with a piece of bacon. Secure with a toothpick. Bake at 400 degrees for 20 minutes. Put in chaffing dish. Can garnish with pineapple chunks, green pepper and maraschino cherries if desired. Can freeze raw or cooked. If frozen cooked, just reheat. Pineapple meatballs. Half a cup milk, two slices bread crumbled, two pounds ground round, one egg beaten, two teaspoons seasoned salt, pepper and garlic powder. 1 tablespoon sherry. Mix all of the above well and shape into 1.5 inch meatballs. Brown the meatballs in 2 tablespoons oil. Sauce. 1 can bouillon. 1 can pineapple tidbits in heavy syrup. Do not drain. If unable to find tidbits, use a 1 pound 4 ounce can of pineapple and cut the chunks in thirds. Half a cup chopped green pepper, a quarter cup wine vinegar, half a cup sugar, two tablespoons soy sauce, half a teaspoon salt, one teaspoon accent, two tablespoons cornstarch. Mix all the above ingredients except the cornstarch. Moisten the two tablespoons cornstarch in a little water and add sauce. Arrange the meatballs in a large baking dish and pour the sauce on top. Bake for 45 minutes in 300 degree oven. To serve, transfer the meatballs and sauce into a chaffing dish so that they will stay warm. Spinach balls. Two packages chopped spinach, cooked, drained well. Two cups seasoned bread stuffing. One cup parmesan cheese. Three fourth cup soft butter. 6 eggs beaten, salt and pepper to taste. Mix well, shape into bite sized balls. Bake on cookie sheet at 350 degree oven for 10 to 12 minutes. May be frozen and reheated. Baby Rubens 1 loaf cocktail rye bread. Spread each piece with Thousand Island dressing or mayonnaise seasoned with horseradish for variation. Cover with thin slice of corned beef, about one scant tea, sauerkraut and small square of Swiss cheese. Bake at 350 degrees until cheese melts and canapes are hot. Muffin canapé 6 green onions sliced thinly using some tops. 1 and a half cup grated cheddar cheese. 1 and a half cup mayonnaise, 3 English muffins split quartered, mix first 3 ingredients, spread on muffins and broil until brown, mix 24. Crab Rangoon 50 wonton skins, 2 8 ounce cream cheese, 2 cans crab 6 and a half ounce, 2 tablespoons A1 sauce, 1 tablespoon garlic powder, 2 egg yolks, Mix together all ingredients except skins and egg yolks. Take a tablespoon of mixture and place in center of wonton skin. Brush egg yolk on corners of skins. Pull corners together and twist close. Fry in deep hot fat until golden brown. Serve with hot mustard sauce and sweet sour sauce. Stuffed mushrooms. 12 large mushrooms. 3 tablespoons melted butter, half a teaspoon salt, half a teaspoon pepper, 2 tablespoons minced green onions, half a tablespoon flour, 2 tablespoon butter, half a cup 
heavy cream, 3 tablespoons fresh minced parsley, half a cup grated Swiss cheese. Remove mushroom stems and reserve. Wash and dry the caps. Brush with melted butter and arrange in shallow dish. Season lightly with salt and pepper. Wash and dry stems and mince. Saute with green onions in butter for 4 to 5 minutes. Lower heat, add flour and stir for 1 minute. Stir in cream and simmer for a minute or two until thickened. Stir in parsley and seasonings. Fill the mushroom caps with mixture. Top each with a tablespoon of cheese and a drop of melted butter. Set aside until ready to cook. Bake in upper one third of oven for 15 minutes at 375 degrees. The stuffing should be brown on top. Artichoke appetizer. Half a cup chopped onion, half a cup water, four eggs, a quarter cup fine dry bread crumbs, half a teaspoon salt, one eighth teaspoon crushed dry oregano, two to three drops hot pepper sauce, two cups shredded cheddar cheese, two cans marinated artichoke hearts drained and finely chopped, one eighth teaspoon pepper. Cook onion in water for about five minutes. Combine eggs, bread crumbs, salt, pepper, oregano and hot pepper sauce. Stir in onion, cheese and artichokes. Spread in greased 11 by 7 and a half pan. Bake at 350 degrees for 17 to 18 minutes. Cut into 1 inch squares. Serve hot or cold. Rumaki Half a pound chicken livers, 1 8 ounce can water chestnuts sliced, 3 green onions, 8 slices bacon cut in half, half a cup soy sauce, a quarter teaspoon ginger, a quarter teaspoon curry powder. Cut onions into 1 inch pieces, roll a piece of onion, a slice of water chestnut and chicken liver in a piece of bacon, fasten with toothpick. Marinate at least 1 hour in mixture of rest of the ingredients. Bake uncovered on a rack in shallow pan at 400 degrees for 15 to 20 minutes or until bacon is crisp. Mix 16. Spicy Sausage Balls 1 pound lean pork sausage mashed, 1 egg well beaten, one third fine dry bread crumbs, two teaspoons curry powder, a quarter teaspoon chili powder. Mix all the above ingredients and shape in three fourth inch balls. Brown on all sides and drain well on paper. One eight ounce tomato sauce, three tablespoons catsup, one tablespoon soya sauce, one tablespoon Worcestershire sauce. Combine in saucepan and add sausage balls. Simmer covered for 15 minutes. If used as an appetizer, remove cover and simmer longer to thicken sauce. Can be used as a main dish served over rice. Aloha marinated chicken wings. Prepare one day in advance. Separate one package chicken wings. Discard tips. Marinate the following half a cup vinegar, half a cup dark caro syrup, half a cup soy sauce, a quarter cup dark molasses. Drain and reserve marinade. Bake in 300 degree oven for 3 fourth hour covered dish. Return to marinade and serve in chaffing dish. Sausage cheese balls 1 pound lean ground sausage. 1 pound shredded cheddar cheese, 3 cups bisquick. Let sausage reach room temperature. Mix all ingredients and form into balls. Bake at 350 degrees until brown. Mix 100. May be frozen and reheated. Pumpernickel Monster Triangles 1 
एट आउंस पैकेज मॉन्स्टर चीज फोर स्लाइसेस ऑफ पंपनिकल अ हाफ मीडियम अनियन खट स्लाइसेस ऑफ चीज इन हाफ्स प्लेस टू हाफ्स ऑन ईच ऑफ फोर ब्रेड स्लाइसेस कट अनियन इन टू स्लाइसेस एंड प्लेस स्लाइस्ड अनियन रिंग्स ऑन टॉप बॉइल थ्री टू फाइव मिनट्स कट इन टू ट्राइंगल्स मिक्स सिक्सटीन फ्राइड मशरूम्स वन पाउंड फ्रेश मशरूम्स वन थर्ड कप फ्लार अ क्वार्टर कप ड्राई ब्रेड क्रम्स वन एंड हाफ टी स्पून सॉल्ट अ क्वार्टर टी स्पून ग्राउंड ब्लैक पेपर वन एग स्लाइटली बीटन रिन्स पैक ड्राई एंड ट्रिम स्टेम्स ऑफ मशरूम्स सेट असाइड कंबाइन फ्लार ब्रेड क्रम्स सॉल्ट एंड पेपर डिप मशरूम्स इन एग देन कोट विथ फ्लार मिक्सचर फ्राई इन स्किलेट इन वन फोर्थ कप सैलड ऑयल अंटिल गोल्डन ड्रेन टू फ्रीज कूल फ्राइड मशरूम्स कंप्लीटली व्रैप फॉर फ्रीजिंग फ्रीज अप टू थ्री वीक्स टू री हीट प्लेस फ्रोजन मशरूम्स इन पैन एंड प्लेस इन फाइव हंड्रेड डिग्री अवन फॉर एट मिनट्स टोस्टेड चीज राउंड वन थर्ड कप पामिशान चीज ग्रेटेड थ्री फोर्थ कप मेयोनीज हाफ अ कप चॉप्ड अनियन डैश वुस्टर सॉल्ट एंड पेपर टू टेस्ट वन लोफ पार्टी राय कंबाइन ऑल इंग्रीडियंट्स एंड मिक्स वेल स्प्रेड ऑन ब्रेड एंड ब्रॉयल अंटिल पफी आर्टिचोक बबल्स सिक्सटीन स्लाइसेस पार्टी राय ब्रेड वन कैन और फोर्टीन आउंस आर्टिचोक हार्ट्स ड्रेन्ड वन एग वाइट टू टेबल स्पून मेयोनीस टू टेबल स्पून ग्रेटेड पामिजांग वन टेबल स्पून श्रेडेड चेडर चीज वन डैश कैन वन डैश पेपरिका कट आर्टिचोक हार्ट्स इन हाफ प्लेस वन हाफ कट साइड डाउन ऑन ईच ब्रेड स्लाइस बीट एग वाइट अंटिल स्टिफ Fold in remaining ingredients except paprika. Chop each artichoke half with about one and a half teaspoon egg white mixture. Sprinkle with paprika. Bake at 400 degrees for 10 to 15 minutes. Artichoke cheese frittata omelet. Four eggs, one dozen crumbled soda crackers, half a pound grated cheddar cheese. Two jars of six ounce marinated artichoke hearts, chopped and drained, reserving two tablespoons artichoke oil. Three green onions chopped, one clove garlic, half a cup chopped fresh parsley, salt and pepper to taste. Fry onion and whole garlic in reserved oil. Remove garlic and take pan off heat. Cool the onions. Beat eggs slightly in a large bowl and add each remaining ingredient one at a time with a fork. Add artichokes to the mixture, stir and pour into well greased 8 by 8 pan or 9 inch round pan. Bake 35 to 40 minutes at 325 degrees. Serve hot or cold. End of section two. Section three of Santa's Sampler. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Read by Betty B. Santa's Sampler, a collection of over 100 hors d'oeuvre recipes by Kappa Alpha Theta, St. Louis Alumni Chapter. Cold dips and spreads. A meal in itself. One cup cream cottage cheese. One half cup blue cheese mashed, one hard-boiled egg thinly sliced, one small green onion thinly sliced, one quarter cup sweet pickle relish, two tablespoons creamy French dressing. Mix in glass bowl, cover and refrigerate overnight. Serve cold with crackers. Swiss cheese spread: one third cup mayonnaise, one tablespoon white wine, one half teaspoon lemon juice, one quarter teaspoon prepared mustard. One dash each garlic powder, salt, pepper, nutmeg. 
two cups finely shredded swiss cheese combine all ingredients and chill garnish with nuts cheddar beer spread one half pound mild cheddar cheese grated one half clove of garlic crushed one dash cayenne one tablespoon worcestershire sauce one half teaspoon dry mustard one half cup beer combine all ingredients and mix until smooth fill crock and seal with paraffin refrigerate several weeks makes one and one half cups crab and cream cheese one eight ounce cream cheese one bottle cocktail sauce see pass if possible one can crab meat drained and boned layer above ingredients serve with melba rounds or sesame crackers dilly dip two-thirds cup mayonnaise two-thirds cup sour cream one tablespoon dried green onions one tablespoon dried parsley one teaspoon dill weed one teaspoon accent one tablespoon parsley refrigerate for 24 hours serve with vegetables roca dip for vegetables one eight ounce cream cheese one jar roca cheese two ounces roca cheese crumbled one tablespoon worcestershire sauce one dash tabasco one cup finely chopped watercress four green onions chopped one quarter teaspoon garlic powder two tablespoons mayonnaise one teaspoon curry powder one teaspoon beaumonde one cup sour cream one tablespoon onion flakes mix all ingredients in mixer serve with raw vegetables bloody mary dip one cup sour cream one cup mayonnaise two envelopes bloody mary mix one quarter teaspoon salt two tablespoons green onions minced mix and chill overnight dip vegetables or crackers soy sauce dip one cup mayonnaise two tablespoons dehydrated onions two tablespoons milk one teaspoon ginger one teaspoon vinegar one teaspoon soy sauce combine and use for vegetable dip centurion vegetable dip one bottle wilson's bv gravy base one pint mayonnaise two eight ounce cream cheese one tablespoon grated onion one teaspoon worcestershire sauce beat together with mixer all ingredients except mayonnaise fold in mayonnaise with spoon serve with raw vegetables wilson's bvi vegetable dip one pint hellman's mayonnaise two eight ounce cream cheese two ounces blue cheese two ounces bvi gravy base one teaspoon worcestershire sauce one minced green onion beat together with mixer all ingredients except mayonnaise fold in mayonnaise with spoon serve with raw vegetables shrimp or crab mold two cans shrimp or crab one can tomato soup one eight ounce cream cheese one tablespoon gelatin one quarter cup cold water one cup celery one half cup onion chopped three quarter cup hellman's mayonnaise dissolve gelatin in cold water heat to boiling add soup little at a time mix cheese little at a time add rest of ingredients pour into a greased fish-shaped mold ham ball one eight ounce cream cheese one large underwood deviled ham three tablespoons chopped onion one half cup chopped pimento stuffed olives two tablespoons worcestershire sauce one four ounce grated sharp cheddar cheese two tablespoons mayonnaise mix all together and chill until firm form into ball and roll in pecans you can make this at least three days in advance clam dip one eight ounce cream cheese one half cup sour cream two tablespoons mayonnaise two tablespoons dill one tablespoon garlic salt one seven ounce can mixed clams two tablespoons minced onion mix together all ingredients except clams fold in clams and refrigerate 24 hours great with king-size fritos peanut butter pate one half cup chopped fresh mushrooms two tablespoons butter two tablespoons lemon juice one eight ounce cream cheese softened two tablespoons creamy peanut butter two slices bacon crisp and crumbled three green onions finely chopped cook mushrooms in butter for five minutes stir in lemon juice remove from heat beat cream cheese and peanut butter until fluffy stir in mushrooms and cover refrigerate at least one hour 
shape into ball and roll in bacon and onions cover and refrigerate until serving time serve with crackers spinach appetizer one package frozen chopped spinach thawed and drained one eight ounce cream cheese one half teaspoon beau monde one half teaspoon salt one half cup chopped fresh parsley one quarter cup chopped green onion tops one teaspoon dill weed mix everything together and serve on party rye blue cheese spread one cup american blue cheese one cup cream cheese two teaspoons minced onion one half cup sour cream two tablespoons white wine pinch garlic four strips crisp bacon crushed mix all ingredients and chill serve on crackers clam ball two eight ounce cream cheese two green onions minced one dash worcestershire sauce one dash lemon pepper one can minced clams drained combine all ingredients shape in ball and roll in shelled sunflower seeds serve with sesame crackers scrumptious shrimp spread one half cup chili sauce three tablespoons tomato paste two tablespoons dill pickle liquid one tablespoon lemon juice one tablespoon horseradish one half cup chopped dill pickle one seven ounce can chopped shrimp one eight ounce cream cheese beat cream cheese add remaining ingredients serve on crackers mansfield dip two cans crab meat drained very dry one half head raw cauliflower one quarter cup mayonnaise or enough to moisten one teaspoon curry powder wash and dry cauliflower and chop fine in blender mix all ingredients for a hotter taste add some chili sauce if desired crab divine two cans crab meat seven and one half ounces three eight ounce cream cheese softened six tablespoons mayonnaise one quarter teaspoon curry powder one quarter teaspoon salt two tablespoons lemon juice one teaspoon worcestershire sauce one three ounce lemon jello two tablespoons cold water soften jello in cold water and heat mix together all other ingredients and pack in greased mold serve with crackers camembert cheese ball two eight ounce cream cheese soften one bunch green onion tops one jar old english cheese one jar roca one half round of camembert cheese make at least three days in advance mix all together and roll in pecans serve at room temperature kraut spread one large can sauerkraut finely chopped and well drained one half cup onion finely chopped one half cup green pepper finely chopped one half cup sugar one half cup oil combine ingredients and chill at least twelve hours good on triscuit a b c dip one third cup toasted almonds three quarter cup mayonnaise twelve ounces grated sharp cheddar cheese three strips cooked bacon crumble one tablespoon finely minced onion one quarter teaspoon salt mix together all ingredients and serve on wheat crackers can be made three days in advance tuna chutney dip one eight ounce cream cheese one quarter cup mayonnaise two tablespoons prepared mustard one quarter teaspoon cayenne two seven ounce cans tuna one quarter cup chutney mix all ingredients together and serve with crackers mexican pepper dip two large tomatoes peeled and chopped four chopped green onions one small can chopped green chilies el paso one small can chopped ripe olives three tablespoons olive oil four teaspoons vinegar one teaspoon garlic salt mix all ingredients together and chill serve with tortilla chips curry vegetable dip one cup mayonnaise one teaspoon curry powder one teaspoon garlic salt one teaspoon onion powder one teaspoon horseradish optional one teaspoon tarragon vinegar combine all ingredients and serve with raw vegetables spinach dip for vegetables one package frozen chopped spinach two cups mayonnaise one cup green onions about two bunches one teaspoon each salt and pepper do not cook spinach thaw and thoroughly squeeze moisture out before mixing with rest of ingredients serve with raw vegetables 
anchovy cheese dip one eight ounce cream cheese softened two tablespoons chopped green olives one tablespoon anchovy paste one tablespoon snipped green onion tops one tablespoon milk one teaspoon lemon juice one half teaspoon worcestershire sauce combine all ingredients and beat until light and fluffy chill twenty four hours serve with crackers or vegetables curry ball with chutney and almonds two eight ounce cream cheese softened two tablespoons curry powder or more to taste one four ounce package sliced almonds four tablespoons butter one bottle curry sauce or chutney sauce mix together cream cheese and curry set in refrigerator when cool form into a log meanwhile brown almonds in butter and drain on paper towel when ball is cool roll in almonds and refrigerate just before serving pour a bottle of chutney or curry sauce over ball serve with sesame crackers chutney over cheese one eight ounce shredded cheddar cheese one eight ounce cream cheese two tablespoon sherry one teaspoon curry powder mix all ingredients together and place in pie plate at last minute spread on one large jar of chutney add chopped green onions on top serve with triscuits tuna pate one eight ounce cream cheese two tablespoons chili salt two tablespoons snipped parsley one teaspoon instant minced onion one half teaspoon bottled hot pepper sauce two six and one half ounce cans tuna drained blend first five ingredients gradually stir in tuna beat until blended pack in four cup mold chill thoroughly unmold and serve with crackers end of section three Section 4 of Santa's Sampler. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Read by Betty B. Santa's Sampler, a collection of over 100 hors d'oeuvre recipes by Kappa Alpha Theta, St. Louis Alumni Chapter. Cold Tidbits. Indian Chicken Balls. 4 ounces cream cheese softened, 2 tablespoon mayonnaise, 2 5 ounce cans chicken drained, 1 cup sliced blanched almonds, 1 tablespoon chopped chutney, 1 tablespoon curry powder, 1 half teaspoon salt, 1 half cup flaked coconut. Beat cheese and mayonnaise until blended. Add rest of ingredients except coconut. Mix well and chill for 1 hour. Shape into 36 balls. Roll in coconut and chill three to four hours before serving. Chutney Chicken Balls. One quarter cup finely chopped chutney or chutney sauce. One five ounce canned chicken spread. Salt, white pepper, and curry powder to taste. Finely chopped almonds. Combine all ingredients except almonds. Chill and form into balls. Shortly before serving, roll balls in chopped almonds. Frosty Grape Clusters two pounds red green or blue grapes two egg whites slightly beaten one package lemon flavored gelatin one teaspoon cinnamon or nutmeg separate grapes into small clusters wash and pat dry with paper towels dip grapes in egg whites sprinkle with mixture of gelatin and spices dry on cake racks in cool place there are also nice around a punch bowl or as a garnish on a buffet makes about 12 servings filling for stuffed cherry tomatoes one large avocado one half cup creamed cottage cheese one teaspoon lemon juice one quarter teaspoon salt one half teaspoon dill weed few drops onion juice garnish with fresh dill take the centers out of the tomatoes mix all other ingredients together until smooth fill the centers with a teaspoonful of the mixture cucumber hors d'oeuvres one loaf thin sliced bread, two cucumbers, one cup mayonnaise, four tablespoons dill weed, one jar capers. Take thin sliced bread and trim crust. Cut them with round cutter. Spread butter on bread rounds. Cover butter with mayonnaise and dill weed mixed. Place thin slice of cucumber on top. Cover with dab of dill and mayonnaise mixture and place caper on top. Chipped beef and dilled green bean hors d'oeuvres one can s and w dilled green beans 
two packages thin sliced corned beef one container craft horseradish and cream cheese spread horseradish and cream cheese on beef roll around dilled bean and secure with toothpick olive bread ring one thirteen and three quarter ounce package hot roll mix three quarter cups warm buttermilk one egg two tablespoons granulated sugar three quarter cup shredded swiss cheese three quarter cup chopped walnuts three quarter cup thinly sliced pimento stuffed olives sprinkle yeast from roll mix over buttermilk thoroughly blend in egg with fork set aside cool to room temperature mix together roll mix and sugar stir in cheese walnuts and olives add liquid ingredients and stir until dough clings together turn onto lightly floured breadboard and knead five or six times place in buttered bowl cover and let stand in warm place until doubled about one and one half hours on lightly floured board knead eight or ten times shape into roll about sixteen to eighteen inches long and place in well buttered bunt pan be sure to seal ends together cover and let stand in warm place until doubled about forty five minutes it will not fill the pan bake in preheated oven at three hundred twenty five degrees for about thirty five to forty minutes turn on to wire rack to cool serve with bacon cheddar spread bacon cheddar cheese spread two cups shredded cheddar cheese eight ounces one third cup dairy sour cream two tablespoons finely chopped green onion six slices cooked bacon crumbled mix all ingredients together have at room temperature to spread on slices of the olive bread ring dill pickles and beef wrap one package chipped beef one three ounce package cream cheese softened one jar medium-sized dill pickles spread cream cheese on piece of chipped beef wrap around a dill pickle chill and slice into small pieces cream puffs one cup flour one quarter teaspoon salt one half cup butter one cup boiling water and four eggs combine shortening and water in saucepan keep over low heat until butter is melted sift flour and salt together and add all at one time to water mixture stirring vigorously over low heat until mixture forms a ball and leaves the side of the pan remove from heat and cool slightly add eggs one at a time beating thoroughly after each addition beat until smooth and thick drop one half teaspoon mixture on greased cookie sheet about one and a half inches apart bake at 425 degrees for 20 minutes or until beads of moisture no longer appear on surface do not open door to oven during baking cool split and fill just before serving puffs may be filled with chicken salad tuna or one of the following blue cheese filling one five ounce jar blue cheese spread softened one teaspoon worcestershire sauce one half cup dairy sour cream cream cheese spread until smooth blend in sauce and sour cream chill until ready to fill puffs garnish with paprika or parsley if desired makes one cup crab meat filling one cup crab meat one three ounce package cream cheese one half cup sour cream one half teaspoon curry one teaspoon chutney one half teaspoon salt mix all together and stuff in puffs shrimp cheese filling one half cup flaked cooked shrimp one tablespoon chopped pimento one tablespoon lemon juice three tablespoons mayonnaise one fourth cup shredded sharp cheddar cheese salt and pepper to taste mix all ingredients and fill puffs exotic chicken salad four pounds cooked chicken breast two small packages slivered almonds two cups mayonnaise one tablespoon curry powder two tablespoons soy sauce two cups thin sliced celery two six ounce cans water chestnuts sliced thinly salt and pepper to taste mix all ingredients together and fill puffs pickled mushrooms one half pound mushrooms two teaspoons salt two cups boiling water two-thirds cup cider vinegar six peppercorns one sliced onion one sprig parsley one bay leaf one quarter teaspoon celery salt one quarter cup oil clean mushrooms and remove stems cover with boiling water and salt simmer five minutes drain boil vinegar and seasonings ten minutes pour over mushrooms and refrigerate for twenty-four hours 
Drain before serving. Baronated Carrots 2 pounds carrots cooked in small pieces until barely tender. 1 medium onion grated, 1 green pepper diced, 1 cup celery diced, salt and pepper to taste. Bring to boil the following ingredients and pour over carrots. Refrigerate for 24 hours. 1 can tomato soup undiluted. 1 half cup sugar, 3 quarter cup cider vinegar, 1 half cup salad oil, 1 tablespoon prepared mustard, 1 tablespoon Worcestershire sauce. Shrimp Waikiki. Cook one pound shrimp, have a large pineapple lengthwise, scooping out meat, discarding core, and cut meat into bite-sized pieces. Spare each shrimp on toothpick with a piece of pineapple and heap into one pineapple shell. In other shell, place dip made of three-quarter cup sour cream, one-quarter cup mayonnaise, one tablespoon horseradish. Bologna Cornucopias. Eight slices bologna, one package, seven and one half ounces farmer's cheese, one onion minced, two tablespoon minced green pepper, one teaspoon Worcestershire sauce, dash paprika. Cut bologna slices in half. Roll each into a cornucopia and close with a toothpick. Combine other ingredients and mix until smooth. Spoon into cornucopias and chill. Spiced sherried walnuts. One and one half cup brown sugar, one quarter teaspoon salt, one quarter cup sherry, one tablespoon pumpkin pie spice, two tablespoons light corn syrup, three cups walnut halves, granulated sugar. Blend brown sugar, salt, sherry, spice, and corn syrup. Add walnuts. Roll nuts in sugar and dry overnight on wax paper. Harriet's Mixture. Six tablespoons butter, four teaspoons Worcestershire sauce, one teaspoon seasoned salt, 2 cups rice checks, 2 cups wheat checks, 2 cups corn checks, 3 quarter cup salted nuts, 1 cup stick pretzels. Melt butter, add salt and Worcestershire sauce. Add rest of ingredients and heat until all pieces are coated. Bake at 250 degrees for 45 minutes. Stir every 15 minutes. Place on paper towels to cool. Barbecued pecans. 1 cup butter, 1 third cup Worcestershire sauce, 10 dashes Tabasco sauce, 4 cups pecan halves. Melt butter, add other ingredients. Bake in 270 degree oven for 15 minutes. Take out, salt is needed. Return to oven for another 15 minutes. Drain and cool on paper towels. Finger broccoli. Wash two bunches of fresh broccoli. Cut off flowerets and cut into bite-sized pieces. Stems may be saved to cook or use in soup. Make the following marinade. 1 half cup white vinegar, 1 half cup cider vinegar, 1 cup olive oil, 1 tablespoon dill weed, 1 tablespoon sugar, 1 tablespoon MSG, 1 teaspoon each salt, pepper, garlic powder, 1 clove garlic cut into fourths. Place broccoli in large container with a tight fitting lid, such as a plastic 1 half gallon ice cream carton. Pour marinade over broccoli, marinate for 24 hours turning the carton frequently or stirring broccoli. Remove garlic after 12 hours. Marinated shrimp. Two tablespoons vinegar, one third cup oil, one teaspoon paprika, one quarter cup strong prepared mustard, one teaspoon salt, one half cup green onions chopped very fine, one quarter cup parsley chopped very fine, one half cup celery chopped very fine. Marinate one pound shrimp in above mixture overnight. Serve with toothpicks. Artichoke Brussels Sprouts. One can artichoke hearts drained. One package frozen Brussels sprouts. Cook following directions. One small bottle wishbone dressing. Pour over prepared vegetables. Sprinkle dill on top. Refrigerate and serve with toothpicks. End of section four. Section 5 of Santa Sampler. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Read by Larry Wilson. Santa Sampler, a collection of over 100 hors d'oeuvre recipes by Kappa Alpha Theta, St. Louis Alumni Chapter. Christmas Gifts to Make. 
Red Pepper Jelly 12 red peppers ground in meat grinder 2 hot peppers ground 7 cups sugar 1 6 ounce bottle Serto 1 and a half cups cider vinegar 1 box of paraffin Place everything except Serto on high heat Stir and boil hard for 10 minutes Add bottle of Serto and stir 10 minutes Ladle into sterilized jelly glasses and seal with paraffin immediately. Hot Spiced Tea Two and a third cups sugar Two cups tang Three quarter cup instant tea One package lemonade mix One teaspoon cinnamon One half teaspoon clove Mix all ingredients together and store in tightly covered jar. Put two teaspoons in a cup and pour in hot water. Kalua. Boil in one half cups of water, three quarter cups granulated sugar, and add one inch long piece of vanilla bean cut into three pieces. Let simmer for twenty minutes. Dissolve six and a half teaspoons instant coffee, Uban, in one half cup water. Strain sugar syrup through cheesecloth and let cool. When cool, add coffee and water mixture, and with three and a half cups, 100% vodka, and one teaspoon glycerin, and let stand in glass bottle for two weeks. Orange and spice scented sugar. One cup sugar. One tablespoon grated orange peel. One half teaspoon cinnamon. One quarter teaspoon ground nutmeg. One quarter teaspoon cardamom. One eighth teaspoon ground ginger. Heat oven to 200 degrees. Combine ingredients in a baking pan, 8 by 8 by 2, and heat for 15 minutes, stirring occasionally. Cool. Pour mixture into blender and run on low speed till sugar is fine. Store in tightly covered container in a cool, dry place. Use to sweeten coffee, tea, applesauce, fresh apples, or sprinkle on pancakes, waffles, or French toast. Café au lait. One quarter cup Nestle Quick. One half cup Maxim Coffee. One half cup Coffee Mate. Three teaspoons cinnamon. Mix and store in glass jar. Use one rounded teaspoon per cup. Seasoned Salt. Two cups salt. One tablespoon garlic powder. One tablespoon onion powder. One tablespoon oregano crushed. One quarter cup paprika. Two tablespoons pepper. One teaspoon nutmeg. One tablespoon celery salt and chili powder. One quarter cup MSG. Mix all ingredients and store in container. Use on vegetables and meat while cooking. End of section 5. End of Santa's Sampler, a collection of over 100 hors d'oeuvre recipes by Kappa Alpha Theta, St. Louis Alumni Chapter.